When Nelson Wong started at KTVU, it was 1969. Sly and the Family Stone's Everyday People was number one on the charts. There's only one, two. Nelson was just 15 and a half years old. He did landscaping and building maintenance, then quickly worked his way inside the studio, where shows such as Creature Features were filmed. He was there when Charlie and Humphrey learned about borrowing without asking. Glue! I need glue! And while Mike, Sal, and I were at home watching Romper Room. Romper Room and Friends! Good morning, friends at home. I'm Miss Sharon, and welcome to Romper Room. Nelson was working on Romper Room. Don't mean to make you feel old, Nelson, but we did grow up watching your shows. Some of the biggest events of the 70s and 80s were Nelson's on-the-job training in the ever-changing world of television news. Nelson was in the newsroom January 28, 1986, watching a live feed of the Space Shuttle Challenger's launch when the shuttle exploded. He scrambled everyone into the studio to bring that breaking news to viewers, though he and the others were still in shock over what they'd just seen. Nelson was also there as the Bay Area got to know a young man named Dennis Richmond, who started anchoring here at KTVU in 1976. Good evening, I'm Elaine Corral. And I'm Dennis Richmond. In the 80s, the Bay Area was on a first name basis with Dennis and Elaine. What they didn't see was the man behind the camera. That's Nelson right there on the left. Over the years, Nelson started working in the control room, most recently helping to direct Mornings on 2. That job, by the way, comes with a 2 a.m. wake-up call. From 1969 to today, Nelson's been at KTVU. 47 years, so much has changed. We like to joke that in all these old photos, hey, Nelson had hair, lots of it. This is Nelson today. The hair is gone, but the smile and everything else is still there. Now, every day people.